both not of heroes are staff of teleportation. They can come straight in, reinforce the freaking uh, position. Now Infi is going to have to go back off after getting harassed over here. I don't think a lot of damage was done. I think a breath, of, not even a breath of fire was let out. Not even the peasant corpses there, I, I don't think. I think, oh, I know what happened. Moon purchased two potion visibilities on, on two of these heroes. That's why they have, uh, I think that's what happened. And, uh, no, oh, Panda had a potion invisibility, and uh, Warden was, went in uh, straight on to take all the da uh, tower damage. And and uh, the, both of them has to use the staff to teleportation to get out because the uh, Infi is pushing him, uh, pushing his uh, main army with uh, with all three heroes. It looks like Infi is sticking tired of, I'm sorry, Moomin's just sticking tired of the... Uh, uh, holding back, got 80 food, and Infi's on 50. That's a walkover by any means. Um, if Infi engages army in the mid ground uh, and straight, and looks like it's gonna be a base trade. Uh, nice. Ah, oh, the knight's gonna get picked off. So Infi back to 46. Yeah, 46 food, and uh, I don't know when Infi is going to go on 100. Maybe. Uh, huh, I have really no idea. So Moon's gonna about to run out this month. <laughs> Just go man as well. Moon about. Moon's gonna run out of natural here in about a minute, and uh, and he's gonna run out this seven o'clock. Infi's gonna have a fresh gold mine to work with, and he's I don't think he's gone over fifty the entire game. That's gonna be really really good for Infi, uh, economic wise. Let's see what each each player is going to do. Moon can potentially, if this goes down to a really like a last battle, no resource game, Moon can just uproot all the all the freaking trees, and <laughs> go last ditch effort push against uh, Infi's main or something. But Infi has plenty of towers. Let's see, uh, if, uh, four nine towers here at the one o'clock, three towers. Well, these three towers are really hard to get to at the natural. Five, four towers at the main. Pretty good positioning. Uh, and Infi, uh, yeah, Moon try to pick. Oh, another freaking dodge, Stormbolt dodge using Blink. I think Moon's trying to pick off any uh, the nice that uh, just cast some uh, uh, Shadow Strike on them and get <laughs> gets a Mana Serpent every time she try to go in. There's a, three more towers being thrown on my. Oh, there's a. Uh, I don't know what she's trying to do. That, that staff to save that motor team. And Infi, I'm sorry, Moon saw the staff, so he's gonna go down, hunt down that freaking motor team that was just staffed. And I don't know if he wants to sacrifice the warden here. Both both players are gonna turtle and gonna wait for the the other players to go. Out. Oh, there's a knight. He's gonna have to go back to the, go back, go back. Oh, freaking mountain came. It's gonna, it's gonna to be staffed to just to save that motor team, hunt down the warden, and holy god, another freaking blink storm bolt dodge. Uh, the mountain motor team, careful, dude, stormboat that bitch, stormboater, dude, what are you waiting for, come back, <laughs> warden's kind of trapped, so she has to use the staff, to staff of teleportation to get out, another blink, so blink, and then use the staff of teleportation to get out, that's pretty good, Chimera's gonna be out, so we're gonna see Moon's got an like, entire tech tree for the night elf, so you're gonna be spotted by the scan, uh, I mean, uh, flare, <laughs> god damn it, I, I played too many Starcraft too. It's gonna be revealed by the freaking flare, and the flare is gonna see all the roars on Moon's units. That just means one thing: Moon's gonna push in the, within the next 60 seconds. That's how long roar lasts, or 40 seconds. That's how long roar lasts on units. Uh, there we go. Let's we'll see. Uh, Chimera's got revealed as well, so he's gonna get some siege oh, tanks to counter Chimera's. I would get fly machines. Oh, well, um, no, fly machine won't will be countered by Hippogriffs, so he can only get siege, uh, siege engines to. Uh, to counter the air units. Uh, more towers being thrown down by Infi. I really need to know how many towers this is. Maybe I can, I can look it up to the replay stats to figure out exactly how many towers. Uh, it's not the most towers I've ever seen. The, I think I, they set a, I have a replay that set the world record of how many towers there is in a competitive game. Not when, not just when you're fucking around and put on towers. Uh, in the legitimate game, where in, uh, when two players are try to win the game, <laughs> um, there's a world record being set on that. I think I casted that game 100. Oh no, it was uh, 280 something. Uh, I had to, I can't remember. If you if you guys are my lo loyal subscribers, I think you can ha you can tell me what it is. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna see Warden is going to try to just pick off any motor teams. I don't think that's gonna work. Uh, all, you, all he's doing. Oh, never mind. He's gonna try to use the warden as a distraction, get the human army out of the out of position. 
Warden gets really low, so she has to pop the potion as a viability, and the entire Night of Armor is going to be repelled because of Warden's low HP. Of course, the panel is low HP as well. Panel was staffed, and looks like Night of Armor is going to go back. Oh, the Mountain King is way too far here. Throw a boat, throw a boat, anything, throw a boat, anything. That's good. That's good enough. Alright. Uh, okay. The bears are going to heal themselves. The bears are freaking so reusable in the elimination game like the yeah, war, war of attrition game like this. Yinfi's still at 50 food. I don't know how the hell he managed. I think he killed all these peasants himself. That's how he managed to stay below 50 food. I don't know what happened to the peasants over here. Uh, I guess they were transferred over here. If you're so efficient with the food count uh, Yinfi's entire game. I don't think he went over 50 at one time. And Moon's been on 80, 80, 78 food of the entire game, so he lost a lot of money. He lost a lot of money he can mine out of the bottom of the map. And he's about to run out of money here, let's see, four minutes. Uh, in the next, uh, not even four minutes, let's see, divided by 60, uh, just the, yeah, four, uh, three and, uh, three and a half minutes. Moon's gonna run out of this gold mine here, and then we're gonna see a big epic battle. Probably one battle and decide at all. Um, if Bo if Moon's gonna keep doing this, I'm, I'm gonna be able to replay here. Uh, Warden, I am just need to keep track of Warden where she is. Because Yinfi is not gonna move out at all. Moon's gonna try to do some shopping, Panda's gonna do some shopping as well. Moon has complete map control. Uh, yeah, Yinfi's not gonna make any mistake here. He's the freaking biggest turtle or ever. He's gonna be a perfect Terran player in StarCraft 2. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Um, although he can, yeah. Although, to, to be a perfect Terran player, you have to get a lot of bunkers if you're gonna use towers like that. Uh, Moon's gonna come in. No, no, it's gonna be scouted. Gonna be, uh, the Avatar Avenger is gonna be repelled by the motor teams. And here we go, we're gonna see Moon's gonna try to come in, use the Avatar Vengeance as a distraction, try to pick off a motor team, Shadow Strike, Breath of Fire, do something! There's a Shadow Strike, hit him, hit him, there's a play, Holy Light, and Panda is gonna be staffed at the last second. Oh my god, 33 HP on the Panda. Our gold mine is Moon didn't manage to do anything, except, except got his Panda hurt a lot. <laughs> and yeah, Moon is gonna have to back off, and let's see here, he's gonna to Try to hunt down the motor team and murder the Mountain King. Is gonna, oh, the uh, Mountain King. Mountain King, save that motor team, Mountain King. Storm boat. Oh, nice freaking use of potion last round. They finally managed to kill the, the freaking motor team. And the Warden has to hightail out of here. Warden doesn't have any mana to blink. So she has to use the Staff of Teleportation. Otherwise, oh, here comes the Night of Army to rescue this Warden. Even if you don't want to fight this freaking 80 food army. Uh, because he has what? <laughs> 70, 44 food, uh, 47 just now, but losing a Mountain King, 74, uh, Flammer and Serpent, and the Warden in serious trouble, she really needs to keep the Mountain King slow enough to the, so the Warden can get out, and let's, let's see a banish on the Warden to slow her down, and then a storm is going to finish her off, dude, what are you doing, <laughs> Warden got away clean, and looks like Infi's going to go back to the Lana Clark the Turtle. Uh, unless you can do something stupid like this. Loses, okay, I was gonna say, loses freaking Blood Mage to this Night of Army. That's not good. Uh, although, he can staff that Blood Mage. Uh, Alright, whatever. Anyway, there's a Stormbone to keep the Warden in check. Now, go back to the Tower Forest. Go back home. Uh, home sweet home. Not of. <laughs> it's like he reminded that uh, Three Pig story. The first pig build is the... <laughs> whatever. It, this is a brick house, pretty much. Anyway, by the fire, I try to pick off some peasants. And the peasants are... Yuffie's like, okay, you do some, do, do me some favor. Keep, get all the peasants to low HP so I can kill them all. <laughs> I don't think Yuffie needs more lumber, really. really. If you look at him, he's uh, resources. 2,800 lumber, 3,400 uh, 3, food, uh, gold. And Moon realized he's gonna running low on money, so he's gonna pull two woods off gold mine. And uh, just to slow the gold produ uh, consu consumption. After killing those two peasants, uh, three peasants, he can afford to get them one more motor team in the, in the um, army. Where is that shredder? That shredder is gonna get a call from. No, yeah, there's a. That shredder is gonna get a call from the uh, uh, EPA, that was Environmental Protection Agency. Because how, look how many trees he's gotten. Look, look at this thing. And over here, all these trees got freaking. 
Oh god, yeah, EPA is gonna really send us <laughs> send the EPA is gonna send a very strong strong worded letter to the maker of the Warcraft <laughs> for <laughs> for making the strategy chopping on trees so fast. Anyway, uh, just a little whack on the EPA. I really don't have anything against them. Anyway, <laughs> so Moon's gonna turtle here. There's a panda to spot any incoming uh, moto team, maybe perhaps to pick him off. Where the hell the warden? The, I think the warden used a uh, potion of uh, tome of retraining and picked a level three uh, fam knives. Maybe that's gonna do a lot of damage, area damage against the infield army. That's uh, pretty f smart, I guess. If you can pick off any moto teams, might as well do uh, area damage to make sure the human is using this. <laughs> It's so much easier if you have a fire machine in the in the air for your infi, because uh, uh, because it costs only costs one food. Breath of fire! F oh, nice! I didn't even see that coming. Breath of fire! A uh, drunk hates breath of fire and a, a fan of knives. They're gonna kill three motor teams simultaneously. There's no way you three uh, within like two seconds, pretty much. So uh, infi is gonna get pissed off. <laughs> a lot of experience go on to the war one on the warden again. Let's see. Yeah, Infi's gonna try to replace. There's a couple of fly machines. Now Infi knows what's going on. So he's gonna get fly machines and then some motor teams. There's a, uh oh, here's some hippogriffs trying to pick off the fly machines. Not a good idea if the fly machines have fan cannons and, and there's the towers and there's a blood mage and the man king in the mix. So you can be uh, banished and bolted right away. Uh, where the hell the not off army? Here we go. <laughs> trying to save the hippogriffs. And uh, I think Moon is going to tear oh, this Infi army pieces in one by one here. Oh, whoa, no, not there, not, not yet, not yet. <laughs> Anywho, this is going to be, this is kind of boring, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be up to 2x speed, just don't hate me for that. And Moon is going to push in the Infi's main here, I think. Fly Machine is going to spot it. Here's a roar. Infi is going to do a base trade here, and we're going to see... <laughs> I think the human gets favored here because they have a free missionary upgrade. Uh, although the uh, not elf has the nature blessing, but that's not going to be as good as um, uh, level three missionary upgrade. So Moon realized he can't win this thing, so he's going to have to TP back. And oh, it's going to trap a lot of stuff here. That's going to be devastating. Uh, and Moon's got to oh god, Infi's going to have to staff uh, <laughs> staff. Uh, and uh, banish and holy light and as many things as you can. Oh God! Try to surround the freaking paladin. Paladin is gonna get TP out. Here we go. Let's see what? Uh, what the hell did he lose? I don't really know. What did Infi lose? Let's see how many food he got. Yeah, he lost ten food or something. I lost lost two knights. I know that. Uh, maybe a couple. No, there are fine machines. I don't know. Well, no, I'm sorry. There's two knights here. So I don't know what Infi lost over here. That's freaking f 40 food now. I have no idea. Maybe he killed some peasants or something. Hmm. I think that lumber peasant got killed. Uh, anyway, so Moon's gonna push into the human base. There's the knight. Uh, uh, Stafford Sanctuary gets dispelled by the dryads. The knight's gonna have to run back to the towers. The knight's truck block the hole. Get towers and go finish off the dryad. Looks like Mifi is going to go for a counterattack. Uh, scan. I don't know where he scanned. Oh, uh, where's that flare? Where's that flare? Oh god. <laughs> Sorry, I missed it. That flare lasts like two seconds. In impossible spot. Not like a human scan. Uh, Terran scan. You can see for like eight seconds where where is it on the map. And uh, looks like the Mifi is going to lose the tree of eternity. Well, he's going to try to take down his castle. Castle has 4k HP, eight armor. And the tree returning has what 2k HP and 7 armor? Uh, not even close freaking fight, but Night Elf does have more stuff. Night Elf has a lot more stuff than human. And of course, roar helps. Um, and siege damage from the Chimeras. Level 3 3, I think, on everything. Lots of Dryad, carelessly. Um, I think, yeah, Infi is targeting the, the low HP units with towers. Pretty smart. And I think this tower, uh, this bear is gonna get, yeah, you grenaded and probably staffed if it's uh, too bad. So Infi is going to try to kill, okay, kill all the Moon Wells. I th wow, that's going to be bad for Moon because Moon Wells are worth a lot more than farms. In late game, especially Moon Wells, every Moon Well is worth so much. 
Um, what, uh, here we go. We're gonna see two heroes. I'm gonna try to repel this human push. Right in the panic gets staffed. Here's a freaking shadow strike and a fam knives. It are going to be enough to kill this the motor team. So the warden won't have blink anymore. Level three 